Theoretically, everyone's responsible. You say, well, what are, what are we going to do? Well, I think this way, and you think that way, and he thinks the other way. And so we're all unsettled. And therefore, we become more and more conformist. Individualism, rugged individualism, always leads to conformism. Because people get scared. And so they herd together, they all wear the same clothes. We get duller and drabber. The reason for this is, in a way, that democracy as we have tried it, started out on the wrong foot. You get a parody of mysticism. You get the idea, not that everybody is equal in the sight of God, but that all people are equally inferior. And that's why all bureaucracies are rude, why the police are rude, and why you are made to wait in lines, because everybody's a crook. Everybody's equally inferior. See, that becomes the parody of democracy. And that kind of society, watch out for it. It turns in a quick click into fascism because of its terror of the outsider. That man is doing for us what we haven't got the guts to do. That outsider who lives up there in the mountain is at the highest peak of human evolution. His consciousness is one with the divine. And great, just there is someone like that around. It makes you feel a little better. He is realized. He knows what it's all about. And so we need a number of those people. Even though they don't join our game, they tell us, you see, what you're doing is only a game. And we up on that mountaintop are watching you. We love you. We have compassion for you. And, uh, but excuse, please, we aren't going to join. So that gives the community great strength. Because it tells the government, in no uncertain terms, that there's something more than government.